Good morning, Google. Hey, Google, what day is it? It is Tuesday, the 2nd of July, 2019. Hey, Google, how many days until August 25th? 54 days. Hey, Google, what does the weather look like today? In Victoria today, there will be showers with a forecasted high of 17 and a low of 12. Currently, it's 14 and cloudy. Okay, day two is upon us. So I'm pretty excited to see kind of the results that I get back. Uh, going to Jasper's again today. We're gonna break down, figure out what the schedule looks like, and hopefully get on the bike. Oh, but first I have to get the bike, get fitted, and then I can get on the road. But that's tomorrow. So today I'm going to show you a schedule of every single day of uh, this, that, and everything else. And then I think when we go to Jasper's, we're going to break down what a training week looks like. I think so. Okay, so here we are, Google. All you have to go to is go up to the browser or go down to Google, YouTube. YouTube. And then go up to the search bar up here. The healthy transformation. It should just come up. Okay, hey, look, I'm at the top. You can either subscribe here or go to the channel. It says 175 videos. Everything you can think of to inspire you. Go to subscribe. There's a little bell usually, and all you have to do is ding. And I can't subscribe to myself, so that's why I can't do it. Here's the ride to conquer cancer. And that's all you have to do. How are you? I'm great. Good? Yeah, yeah, let's go through this. Okay. Yeah, so just keeping it real simple. Uh, you have eight weeks from the time we're starting uh, to, uh, to your event. Uh, eight weeks is not a lot of time, but it's a really kind of nice uh, short amount of time to really get the work done. Uh, as long as you go into this thing reasonably fit, uh, you don't have to be in super shape, you don't have to be in uh, like top shape, but eight weeks is a nice time window. We're gonna, you're gonna be ready for this thing. Yeah. Um, so just keeping it really simple uh, in that eight week block for the first three weeks. So if you're if you're looking at this, we've got uh, you know our months run here, and then I've got a little phases for you, and then any events that come in. And it's not that populated because in eight weeks there's not really much to do. Um, but we're gonna build you up for three weeks. So this first three week little block here, uh, each week we're gonna uh, apply a little bit more training stress, a little bit more volume. Um, and then I'm gonna give you a little bit of recovery. And then I'm gonna do two, uh, basically two and a half, uh, really good weeks uh, that will build on those first three. Um, and then about 10 days out, I'm gonna taper you off a little bit. So the taper won't be super aggressive. So if you don't know what a taper is, a taper is basically where we bring volume down uh, and, and rest your legs a little bit before uh, heading into your event. So that's it. We have basically two little training blocks to get through. Uh, and then your big day is on uh, August 24th and 25th. Okay, Jesse, so what we got here is what I call your micro cycle. Uh, basically, it's just what happens week to week. Uh, it's a little snapshot of, 
of how the training program is going to flow. And this gives us an idea of you know what you can do uh, each day. And, and last time we established that uh, you know we established your work schedule, which is important. We established which days you can do more significant training. Okay. We established the other parts of the program that you're going to integrate. So you have some other people helping you out with the strength. Uh, you also have help with your recovery, uh, whether that's through hot yoga or with synergy. Yeah. Um, so lots of kind of pieces in this puzzle, and and my job then is to, you know, put these pieces in place, and then you know I'll, I'll write the program that will support this. Basically, we start start your week or Monday uh, with a recovery day. Uh, you're going to see the people at Synergy. Maybe hot yoga or be regular yoga. Either yeah, one. hot or regular, it doesn't matter. Um, we just we talked last time if it's hot yoga to make sure you really replace any fluids that you lose because it's pretty aggressive on the system. Yeah. Uh, still great to stretch out in different ways, open things up. The heat in itself will be a good stressor for you, actually help make you a bit fitter. Okay. The next day in the lineup is Tuesdays, and that's where I'm going to throw some really hard work at you. Uh, this is going to be your higher intensity day, so that's going to be like hills primarily. Yeah. Uh, now, I've looked at the profile of the Ride to Conquer Cancer, and it actually is pretty gentle. Uh, it's not very hilly. Yeah, no, it's not at all. No, it's pretty flat. Yeah. And I know that area, uh, yeah. it's pretty flat. So you may be wondering, well, why are you going to throw hills at me? Well, hills keep us really honest. Yeah. And what I don't want to happen is that you go through this entire week riding the same pace and same intensity all the time, which yeah. is often what happens when people aren't really sure what they're doing, they kind of just default to this monotone pace, and then they ever, never actually get fitter. Okay. So this is the day where we're gonna throw some, some hard stuff at you. Yeah, all right. Yeah, awesome. And it's more fun too. You're gonna have fun. You're gonna climb some hills around here that you've probably never. seen for years and never been up. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. And then Wednesday through Saturday, uh, we we kind of land in your key work days. Yeah. So like most people, you have a, a day job, and uh, so in that time, uh, our training usually is a little more restricted just because you have work hours. But you've identified that uh, you're going to commute to and from work, yep. which is huge because you know if you're about an hour in each direction on four days, that's eight hours of riding, which is significant yeah. for a guy, especially who's just jumping on for their first time. Hey, why not? Yeah, exactly, and. You know, beyond that, I don't feel the need to put any more cycling in for you. And then on Wednesdays and Fridays, there's going to be a strength component. Uh, and that's, you're going to be doing that with somebody, which is great. Uh, you know, I think it's awesome when you can uh, utilize the, the skills of, of an expert in that area. I all the muscles aren't turning towards the legs. Yeah, and, and the strength component in cycling is really huge. Uh, it, it helps us uh, recruit better, like the musculature you have. Uh, the strength work is going to help you recruit uh, a little bit more of that musculature. And it's right. just going to balance you out. It's going to make you stronger all around, which is yep. good. Uh, and hopefully there's some injury prevention stuff in there as well. So hopefully yep. they, they work opposing muscle groups a little bit and kind of balance you out. And then finally Sunday uh, is going to be another key training stress day. Okay. And this is really where we're going to focus on the endurance piece. Uh, you have an event where you have to ride back-to-back -back days at roughly 100 kilometers, so right. which is no We're small task, yeah. right? No small task. Uh, so the goal of Sundays will be to put you in a place physically and mentally where you know that you can go the distance. Okay. Uh, so on those days, I'm going to progressively build up that long ride a little bit longer each time. Uh, we'll have some pretty tight effort parameters, so you're not going crazy. Right. Um, those will just be steady rides and I'll probably build you up from a couple hours in that first week up to about five uh, at your your top. Now five is probably a little bit longer than 100k is going to take you. That's okay. That's okay and that's what I want. Um, I want there to be no question in your mind uh, and your body that you can go the distance. Okay. There you go. There it cool. is in a nutshell and we're basically going to run you through that uh, eight times. Can't wait to get her on the bike. Yeah it's going to be great. Finally all you have to do is Hit a thumbs up right below and make sure to comment because I want to hear your thoughts. Tomorrow, hopefully getting on a bike, figuring it all out, and then the heartache begins. <laughs>